Yeah, so Barrett should yeah. be the jungle here. Mm -hmm. Halkert wrong. Uh, that's already clarifying the composition here. What mage, though, will they commit to? Because that's a good band, that Valentina. Oh, it's going to be the Gord. A very, very good, I believe. Because since there's no dive except the Matilda, this Gord should have more say and dictate the fights. Like, despite the vulnerability of the Gord in this particular composition, the one thing that I've noticed of the Gord into a fair miss pick is that his ultimate can sometimes trigger the Nether Realm, yeah. so it's a good baiting tool as well for Alter Ego. It's good bait, and it's actually a really good follow up too. Let's say the Nether Realm gets used up first, and <laughs> Mystic Gush yeah. could be used to execute all of them who are clumping up the Mystic Projectile too, an AoE stun that could punish clumped up composition. So RQ last pick in the XP. Do they want more PO or they want dive? I think Arlen should fit the bill, but they go for Tamas instead. Whoa! Shout outs to Anti Mage. <laughs> Does he like this? Pick? Yeah, he's like, guys, like, hear me out. Thamos is like really broken right now. Ooh. But like, nobody believes him. Well, I guess RQ does, right? We'll Dawn. see. We'll see Dawn if it does. works, right? So, what Anti Mage requested? Dawn. 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 Dawn, Dawn by Dawn. <laughs> well, RRQ and Alter Ego have set their heroes here. They will send the, the 10 heroes to the land of Dawn. Who will take game one in this best of three? Depends who you ask. Oh, Moscow you ask? Purify. Yeah. That's the, like the, now you, there are multi layers to yeah. it. And I think at the, in this game, particularly, you need that Purify. That Terrify from Hellcurt is going to do a whole lot. Lineup rating, counter index, favors, alter, ego. Everything on the line for both of these teams on one end. The Kings of Kings don't want to go down without a fight, but neither do the three face masks. Who will move forward? Who will end here? Ladies and gentlemen, the deciding match of both of their destinies. Game number one between RRQ and Rex Regum Kaon. With the Hoshi this and time. The Hoshi. <laughs> and the Hoshi. And don't the Hoshi. Don't forget the Hoshi. My oh my, Rossi execute. Mm -hmm. That's uh, the, the Hellkurt battle spells that you know, we actually, we were speaking about the battle spell options at the start, after the revamp, a lot of people were like, okay, Petrify, right? You jump, you get a Terrify, plus the Petrify, but Beloisky, Dreon, and now Rossi, everybody's been going for Execute, so I guess this is the new standard. Wow, Rossi's expecting to assassinate a whole lot. Master <laughs> oh, Assassin, right. too. So he's trying to figure out a way to flank and maybe possibly look for this weak side in the gold lane. To try to punish Skylar as much as possible. You know, too, though, the Master Assassin and the Thrill. So, technically, they are doing what we said in the drafts. They're committing to this early game and they want blood. Oh, let's see here. Already a jump on towards Skylar, but good response there by Skylar, able to dodge from that pressure. I've actually been personally waiting for this Helker pick for Rossi. He hasn't picked it up yet. No. This is the debut of the Hellcrit on Rossi, and you mentioned it in the drafts, right? This is so Rossi, it's a Rossi thing, the way that he was able to utilize the Natalia back in the day when it was still meta, and the fact that it can easily be translated onto the Hellcrit. I'm excited to see if it can find as much success as we saw him being able to get on the Natalia. So far, there is pressure that we do see Skylar going through, but not so much as to shut him down just yet. Yeah, not yet, and I don't think there's even any kill pressure for now to Skylar because Vin's been rotating around that bottom lane. Really good maneuver here by Pi to deny the cannon minion, the XP cannon minion from Dawn. So they should be able to clear this quicker and they should be able to get that level 4 power spike to just fight for the first neutral objective. An early W for Alter Ego in setup. Pi is already alone here. Now with the help of Kryt and Pi, who is level 4. Let's see the setup as well. Vin to level 3. And it seems like Taz is in no hurry to take the first new here. RQ though will take initiative as Vin will provide vision here on the whereabouts of Taz. Don, Don trying to be the frontliner, trying to open things up here. Sphere of Destruction connects. Daytona is welcome as well. But Arad will take the first neutral objective on the, in the game. Yeah, he just got harassed way too much in that engage. There was absolutely no chance for Taz to get that. He was even a level below at that point, yeah. right? I think Taz was trying to go for the purple buff first in order to get that level lead, but it just didn't work out, and then they were able to blitz the turtle, and then they lost control.
They weren't able to use the advantage at all. The Gord already rotated up top, but Rossi was too fixated into the bottom lane, so he didn't actually clear the, clear the mid wave to get level four. I think that would have been a different story for Alter Ego had they gotten Rossi to level four so that they could rotate over towards that top side into the jungle. But yeah, for now, Taz and Alter Ego will be behind. A good setup from RQ, and you can see that power for Dawn on the Themis. Really good at poking. If you want to go and force fights, that's the hero that you go for. Especially with the Vengeance, there's really not much of a, a threat at all from Alter Ego early on against him. Oh, Spear of Destruction connects as well, and Rossi will fall first. Oh, Mystic Gushin will not have a response here. Alter Ego, they need to be careful as Nino actually caught here and taunted everything. And our kill, they want the kill, they will get it. Two members taken out here in the first three minutes. The Kings of Kings smell blood in the water and that instinct, that killer instinct that has been dormant for so long instantly turned on a 2 4 0 trade for RRQ. Looking good with the momentum. You can see Skyler. This is a losing matchup for him, but with the Matilda, with this pressure, he's gonna get all of the hits on the turn, even in the mid lane. Dawn! Wow! Good rotation to punish Alter Ego's macro. Their template macro have been completely red out in RRQ. They just punish every single mistake. 1,700 gold lead for RRQ because of the fact that they were able to punish these mistakes, but the mid lane, they're trying to punish Clay, still able to get out. Taz is level 7, Irad level 8, so still, right? A level difference, but well. The bottom side, 2v1. Skyler still able to hold on, as Vin was also there to somehow provide assist if needed. Don, though, will be munched down with the Daytona's welcome and with the combination of the Nether Realm. It is actually Don trying to survive oh. and survive it. Turtle will be claimed by Arad and take a look at Araki with the collapse. Good taunt on towards Hype High. Soaking damage, looking for an opening. Arad looking to gain more space. Dodge again from the potential fight from Alter Ego. The baits, the vengeance to survive. And even when they have the kill threat onto the Damas, the Netherrealm comes in. Taz is completely bullied out of his own jungle. That's a behind Barats. That's not a good right. Rat takes it. God, Breezer's Wrath committed. Rossi jumps in to perhaps find opening, but take a look at Skylar doing work. 4,000, 4,500 gold already in hand. Wow. Take a look at the items here straight off the bat. It seems like Irad is really feeling it. The Eradicator of the Kingdom. 1,000 gold. He takes the orange buff oh. and he's building towards a Thunderbolt, my dudes. This is an aggressive Fredrin. Irad's back to that psycho Fred that he was once known for. And now things just falter for Alter Ego. They had their, they really hinged their bets on the fact that they could have an advantage in the early game, especially with the Hellcurt emblem choices that you guys saw earlier on. But it hasn't worked out just yet. Is there a way for things to turn around? I don't think so. Honestly, I have to be honest with you. I don't think so. This is a gambling kind of draft for Alter Ego. They gamble on the early game. It did not work out, and RQ will outscale them too. For Alter Ego, the only glimpse of uh, of late game is, is Cry probably on the Gord. Their mid game is still quite strong, so I guess, yes, you could give it over to them. But RQ have a 4,000 gold lead. Skylar's on his second item. He's building towards his third. And it's, what, just the sixth minute of the game. If he gets that in the seventh minute, which yeah. he's on track to do so, what mid game will Alter Ego have to fend off against this composition? Nothing surviving in his path already. These towers are falling down like flies. He's getting objectives left, right, and center. And he has the global presence, but can it be threatened here? See, Mr. Gush. Again, pride is low. He needs to back off. Pida receiving a lot of heat as well, just by Skyler. And take a look at this. Arad is opening up for that perfect turtle and alter ego. No counterplay whatsoever. They can't. Taz is two levels below of Arad. And now they're going into the jungle. Taz, do you really want to go for this contest? Mm, let's see here. Dark Knight falls. Committed for nothing. And our kill, they will move onwards here. Perhaps they are eyeing on that mid turret. They're rotating with five. Dawn with the flanks and as well as Clay. They will collapse. Guiding win. Circling Eagle on towards the backside. That's nasty. The top side. Actually, Skylar was able to get green, gain some space and not be committed. No structure in the mid will fall, though. That's a good defense from Alter Ego. They're too far ahead. There's nothing Alter Ego can even do. Irad 
I think he got healed by the stickers oh. of Rossi. And yeah, no threat. It's Rossi who's at threat of dying oh. every time he steps up. Skyler, he's only used to purify once this game. Irad is going on Pi. Oh man, this this is a stomp. If there's, you know what the people, the, the kids would say nowadays? Alter Ego are cooked this game. <laughs> you mean like you, you would yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, because I'm a kid, yeah. <laughs> Back in the game, you're right. 6.7k gold lead already, and it looks like you're going for a snowball at this point. If I'm not mistaken, Skyler already has his next item, right? The DHS was locked in, but wait a minute. Mm, penalty zone, Dark Knight falls as well. Two ultimates from the side of Alter Ego used. And RRQ, they're still standing strong now. They want to invade a purple buff. See here, oh, again, the Dino does not eat. Good taunt. And RRQ, they will move on towards the next objective. Oh, that Thunderbelt is really hurting, man. That's one stab onto Kright. <laughs> and not, not even the basic attack, so he didn't even use the Thunderbelt technically with, with the slow at least. Oh my goodness, 7,000 gold lead in nine minutes against an early game comp of Ultra Ego. It's, a, it's probably going to be a Free Lord. It's probably going to be another forced error, and RRQ looked too clean. I guess for Alter Ego, they're, they're, they need to bank on a throw for RRQ. Yeah. I guess they're looking for plan B right here, right? They're hinging their bets on the fact that they can go in in the bottom oh, lane, but if Skyler wow. utilizes this... Well, take a look at here. Take a look at Taz getting jumped on, and RRQ will certainly have enough damage to take him down. Now, let's see here. Pai looking for a ton of play. Finds Ben, but RRQ, they will not... Refuse a fight as Skyler is just free hitting on the Terizla. Skyler again is locked in. He's not Skyler, he's Skywalker and Nino in the back side will fall as well. Oh! Bang, bang, bang! Another kill on the board as Skyler is just munching everything. It's so crazy because you can see Nino trying his best in the back line, getting some trades back, but at the end of the day, Skyler is just too far ahead and there is nothing that he can say about this. Watch three members just be able to have that much dominance over the map. Rossi also tried to look for a trade in the bottom oh. side of the map, look to get some pressure onto the power on the tower in the bottom side, but he couldn't. Didn't even get it. They can't. They can't do it. That's the global presence. If they did go for it, that's a turret in traded for it. Their members probably not going to be worth it, but in the end, it didn't even matter because RQ traded a few turret shots for three members either way. A big win for RRQ. They're trying to crash the wave twice. The first one of the Lord to bait out that turret splash and then another one to take it. Wow! Mm -hmm. They certainly here. Threatened and taken down. Alter Ego looking to defend their top side and it seems like RRQ will get there first. Take a look at Skylar doing work. Oh, Taz! Taken out and Rad now jumps on towards Nino. Nino looking to survive, but the damage will not be enough. Pi on the other side will try to hold on as he is 1 HP. And RRQ, they are just hammering this game. They still want to go for the end. They want to end Alter Ego here. They want to get the momentum. Mm -hmm. Pi lack resources, taunted, taken down, no problem. Bright with the Hail Mary defense, Mystic Gush, but it seems like the firepower of RRQ is just too massive in this game. And RRQ in the 12th minute of the game will wow. definitely secure game number one. A triple kill for Skyler in those final breaths of what was a slaughter of the three faced masks. RRQ are a step closer keeping themselves safe for now.